Hey there, Matt here, and I want to take you through and show you our large 3.0. So the large 3.0, it's exactly the same price as a large 2.0, but we've massively redesigned the entire trailer. There's massive benefits for you, right? So I'll give you a little bit of a tour. I'll start from the outside and um, work around. So first, probably the biggest thing, we've changed this to a platinum core insulation panel. The large 2.0 has, it's actually galvanized steel, um, and so it's essentially only a few millimeters thick, where this is 25 mil, sorry, 30 mil thick, and it's actually an insulated panel. We've been able to replace a lot of steel parts with aluminum, for example, um, on the outside of the uh, large 2.0. This trim here would be steel, but we've replaced it with aluminum. It means no corrosion, just much better wearing, easier to clean, and so on and so forth, right? Um, as far as the trailer goes, same 15 inch wheels we use all the time. Um, your drop down jacks that um, will drop down to support the trailer, okay? They just literally drop straight down. Um, they're also obviously part of the standard thing. I'll keep going around and show you some other bits and pieces. Um, the front, this trailer, it has a GVM, so a total um, capacity including the trailer of 1500 kilos. The trailer itself comes in just over a ton, okay? Your handbrake here, so when you're driving around and you want to get out, you can just simply um, use handbrake or your safety chains, of course. Um, the handbrake and, and the braking system op operates off the back of your car, so you don't need electric brakes or anything like this. This is trailer. Um, is, electric brakes only happen on a trailer over two ton, right? This is under two ton, okay? Um, front window, it's slightly different. We had people ask for, uh, is it possible for the front window to open? So we set it up so it could. Once again, aluminum trims, um, 30 mil panel, um, nice and easy, like basically it'll just shut nice and easy like that. And um, much, much better design, right? Um, and for the same price, which makes it even better, okay? Just spinning around this side quickly, okay? You've got your water inlet here, so when you're filling up your fresh water tanks, the, the tanks are optional extra, okay? But basically everyone takes them so they comply. And then you've got your um, range hood um, exhaust vents here as well, right? Um, coming around here, we've got, you can just see it here, you've got your big valve valve, so when you're releasing out your, your grey water, um, and then basically everything comes out. So I'll come around, jump inside the, the actual um, trailer and show you inside, okay? So first, First and foremost, very similar fit out. Um, very similar fit out to the large 2.0. You've got your 270 litre um, fridge right here, okay? Um, then over and above that as well, cabinetry. Um, for example, if you want to fit this out with a coffee machine, coffee machine you can put right here if you wanted to, no problems at all. The doors open up and, um, and close easily. Range hood, probably one of the biggest benefits in the the way the large 2.0 is designed, it can't really handle gas work, right? And it can't really handle um, can't really handle gas work, and it can't really handle um, um, it's just the way it's designed because you can't put a firewall in there, um, and it's like technically you can do it, but it's not going to be 100% legal. We wanted to make sure that everything we do is 100% accurate, 100% um, legal. So when you're out working on site, you're not going to have any issues, right? Anyway, so um, here you can put a gas griddle if you want to, okay? Um, and um, a gas deep fryer would stick out a fair way and sit up a lot higher. I'd highly recommend going to an XL 2.0 if you really want to do gas work stuff. But if it comes to the crunch, you can put a gas griddle, we can put a gas top in here. We've got this drop down um, bench and there's a gap in between. This particular client didn't want to sit anything on this bench. So if you had appliances, um, we probably wouldn't have this section in here and we'd actually have the appliance sitting here and lift it up. So you can actually, like for example, a griddle, um, that way you could clean underneath. Or if you said, hey, you want to have a coffee machine here, you can have it here. The downside is the new design range that we had to work with, it is like, I'm six foot four, bear in mind, right? Um, it's sort of in the area. So most people will, will lean underneath that, unfortunately. Fortunately or unfortunately, I don't, right? Um, window nice and easy. Locks pretty simple. You can just basically turn that lock, it locks it, okay? It's nice and easy, opens up. So good cross flow ventilation, which is what we really want. Um, maybe jump inside the trailer and, and you can um, come past this way and I can show you a couple of things on the other side. So, spin around that way, you see all the fire extinguisher and the fire blanket, that's all standard stuff, right? Um, everything we do, the final electrical fit off haven't been done on this trailer. It's literally um, just come through, so it's, it's built ready to show you, okay? Um, you got your circuit breakers, um, earth leakage, everything here, okay? 
basically what happens is um, when the trailer is done, we get an independent electrician come through and sign it off, right? So when the independent electrician comes through and signs it off, basically what that means is they they go through, wire up the trailer, um, sign everything off, everything's got double pole power points, everything's done 100%, right? And then they literally put a little sticker here and then they test and tag everything as they go. Normal cupboards, this one here we've upgraded so it's got um, um, a few extra sliding cupboards. So a really, really great trailer, okay? So um, we add the under trailer water tanks, an extra $800 plus your GST. You've got your hot and cold water system here, right? We guarantee council compliance. It doesn't matter um, where you are, um, will guarantee compliance. Now there is some occasions that council ask for four sinks. We pretty much know where they are. That becomes, a, um, of course the rules are always changing. We'll fix that and do that at our expense, no problems at all, right? Um, so if you wanna do something more about this, drop us an email, office at foodtrailerking.com.au. Alternatively, go ahead, give us a call on our 1300 number, or you can fill in the form at foodtrailerking.com.au forward slash step three, right? I can give you a call, run through exactly what you want, any bits and pieces you might want added, food warmers, cold cold displays, coffee machines, grinders, whatever. We can do it all so you go fully ready to go, including sign running if you need it, okay? Um, and then we'll get you sorted. Looking forward to helping you with the new large 3.0. Massive, massive, massive benefits over the large 2.0. Becomes only a logical choice.